it has been 24 hours since West Virginia Governor Jim Justice, of course, ordering all of the state's casinos to close and restaurants to end dine in options. The other creating an impact on both the businesses and the local economy. News 9's Gage Golding spoke with several business owners today. He's joining us live now from Wheeling with how they're handling these changes. Gage. Good evening, Kate. Thank you. You're absolutely right. There's a really big impact on the economy, but an even bigger impact on local businesses. Many of them asking the simple question of whether they can stay open and pay employees or to just shut down altogether. You have to do this now. This is a time of trying to control a disease. To control the coronavirus, West Virginia Governor Jim Justice made an order on Tuesday evening to close all of the state's casinos and only allow delivery or carry out at bars and restaurants. So we hit the streets to talk to owners of restaurants that are usually busy but now empty. They were slow, slow probably 20% down where we usually are. Chris Burris, the owner of Tito's Sloppy Dogs in downtown Wheeling, talking about Wednesday's sales. It is a good precaution, but it does suck. <laughs> I don't like it, but yes, it's, it's what we have to do. He's not against the governor's decision, but money could get tight in the future. When I asked why he's still open for business. I like money. <laughs> I'm not going to make it sitting at home. Across town, we stopped in at Generations Restaurant and Pub, and it was busy, not with customers, but with employees. Well, we're going to take the opportunity to reinvest in the business. Workers cleaning all of the tables and chairs, as well as redoing the floor, but that's not all. We are in the process also of re, re epoxy in the floors in the kitchen, redoing all the walls, floors, ceilings, new kitchen equipment. We're just going to take the opportunity to uh, refurbish the restaurant, reinvest back into the restaurant. Duplaga isn't crazy about the governor's idea. But I think that uh, things have gotten a little crazy of what's being closed across the country, including the bars and restaurants. But what he is crazy about is making the best out of every situation. For business owners that don't abide by the order, here's what could happen. One, we remove your food service permit, and that will be removed until we're ready to reissue it back to you. Uh, two, we will then contact law enforcement, and if it's necessary, um, they'll assist us with uh, a permanent closure. Now, Kate, I asked Gamble if he has had any resistance from local business owners on the closure and changes. He said as of yet, they haven't seen that case. Reporting live in downtown Wheeling for News 9 at 10 on Fox 9, I'm Gage Golding.